Let's do a problem using density as a conversion factor. There is a density equation, right? Density equals mass divided by volume. If you are calculating the density, you have to use the equation. If you're given the density and asked to find either the mass or the volume, you can use the equation, but students do some crazy things because that equation has fractions in it and they mess up a lot. I think it's a lot easier, requires less thinking, to use the density as a conversion factor. So let's see how we could do that. Backpackers often use canisters of white gas to fuel a cooking stove's burner. If one canister contains 1.45 liters of white gas and the density of the gas is 0 0.710 grams per cubic centimeter, what is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? Okay, this is another one that's not as obvious. <coughs> let's sort, let's take the numbers out. 1.45 liters and 0 0.710 this grams per cubic centimeter is written horizontally with a slash. Don't write it that way when you write it out by hand. It's done that way because it's easier to type into the computer. To do a vertical fraction, you have to break out the equation editor and it messes up the spacing, it's a pain in the neck. So it's done horizontally. But you're writing it out with your hand, you don't have those restraints. So grams over cubic centimeters. You want it to be obvious to your brain that that is a fraction, okay? So those are all the numbers. Again, we've got two things, so we're not sure which one we start with. So let's skip to the next part. Where do we end up? The question, what, what is the mass in kilograms? So we're trying to get to kilograms. <coughs> so how do we get there? Well, we're probably going to need to use both of these numbers. Um, but again, looking at the units, liters, just a, a volume, grams per cubic centimeter, anything that's a fraction that has per in it could be a conversion factor. So we're going to start with this one and use the other one as a conversion factor. So we look at liters and kilograms. One's a volume, one's a mass. We're gonna need this one in the middle somewhere. But it doesn't have liters or kilograms in it. It's got cubic centimeters. What's another name for a cubic centimeter? A milliliter. So if we want to, we can just, instead of writing cubic centimeters, we can write milliliters there if it makes our life easier. So grams per milliliter well, liters, we could get to milliliters, right? And then this would allow us to convert from milliliters to grams. And then we've learned how to do grams to kilograms. So there we go. Three fractions this time. 1.45 liters times in a line, times in a line, no, no, times in a line. Liters to milliliters to grams to kilograms. Once you get the path, everything should fall into place. Now we're just doing a pattern. So we put liters in the bottom, those cancel out. We put milliliters in the bottom. So those cancel out. Put grams in the bottom. So those cancel out. Okay? <coughs> Relationship between kilograms and grams. What does kilo mean? 10 to the 3. So I've got kilo on top. I write what it means on the other side. 1 kilogram is 1 times 10 to the 3rd grams. Here I've got milliliters and liters. What does milli mean? 10 to the minus three. So could you go look those up? Sure, but if you have them memorized, it's gonna save you a lot of time. So milli is 10 to the minus three. One milliliter is one times 10 to the minus three liters. 
in the middle here, this is our density. I keep the units and the numbers together. 0 0.710 grams. Gram is on the top, 0 0.710 grams per milliliter, per one milliliter. One point four five divided by one EE negative three times point seven one zero divided by one EE three one point zero two nine five. My starting number had three sig figs, my density had three sig figs, the other conversion factors were exact. This should have three significant figures, 1.03 kilograms. Questions? Another one with a density as a conversion factor. Even if you're good at algebra, Please, on, on this, in this chapter, just, just try using density as a conversion factor. Just, just give it a try. Drop of gasoline is a mass of 22 milligrams, density of 0.754 grams per cubic centimeter. What's its volume in cubic centimeters? Well, let's write down the numbers. 22 milligrams, 0 0.754, Write that as a vertical fraction, grams over cubic centimeters. Which of these do you think we're going to start with? The milligrams. This cannot be a conversion factor, so it's most likely the one we're going to start with. What are we trying to find? Cubic centimeters. What is the volume in cubic centimeters? Well, our density gives us the relationship between grams and cubic centimeters. Can we convert milligrams to grams? Yeah. Sure we can. Twenty-two milligrams times in a line times in a line. I've got my path milligrams to grams to cubic centimeters, milligrams to grams to cubic centimeters. I made a plan, I'm just going to follow the plan. Divide by milligrams, because I want those units to cancel, and I want grams to cancel. This relationship is given in my density. It is true for this particular problem. 0.754 goes with grams. This time gram is in the denominator, so I'm going to put the number there. The number, I'm sorry, the unit tells me what to do with the numbers. So one cubic centimeter is equal to 0.754 grams. I don't have to wonder, am I supposed to divide by the density or multiply? The units are telling me what to do. Milligrams to grams, again, we need to know what milli means. We've got milli in the bottom. We put what it means on top. Milli means 10 to the minus 3. So 22 times 1 EE negative 3 divided by 0.754. How many sig figs on this one? Twenty-two milligrams. How many sig figs? Two. Sometimes you, you see that as a whole number and you think, is it exact? Can you count milligrams? Are they objects that you can count? No, it's a unit of measurement, so it's not exact. Two sig figs. So that's going to round to 0 0.029 cubic centimeters. The zeros at the beginning are not significant figures can't count those. Any questions?